Hello again. This is Priscilla Batzel. It's Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio using Arteza paints that they sent me and five inch canvases about the size of coasters. And I just made four of these and <laughs> there was a learning curve. It was kind of like starting over. So now I'm going to try and be a little bit more professional about this. I'm going to put a little bit of paint down. Whoop. I'm going to use all Arteza paints with the green stripe on them. And for this one, I want a submerged, but I'm not sure I can really have it because I don't have an open top. So I'll try it and we'll see what happens. I got better colors than I did. Oops, dribble, dribble. I'm going to try and be as, oh, <laughs> I'm going to try and be as similar as I can be to what goes on on the larger pieces. And that's awful pretty, so I'm not worried about that. Let's just use our dustpan to clean up. And pour off anything extra. Maybe I'll be doing some other paintings. I like there is lacing in there. And there isn't any silicone in there. And I did use some of my own pink, fluorescent pink. I had some kicking around. I do have an edge catcher. I'd like to not get some of those other foreign colors on there. I'm not so sure about that red I see down there. It makes me want to throw something else in there. I don't usually do Dirty Poor-esque pieces if I can help it, but this is a whole new ball game for me. And I am going to use my bamboo skewer and see what happens when I pull some stuff down and over and touch up my edges by rolling my skewer as I usually do. I've got all that paint right there. That's kind of cute, actually. I'm not hating that. It's better than some of the others. I'm going to use a torch on it. It's a really big torch with a little tiny painting! <laughs> but uh, my color sense is getting better with these five inch things. I'm just going to keep touching up my edges for a second. And then I'm going to come back and decide if I want to put some black in there because I think that that would help me out. Ah, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to wipe off my skewer. Add some interest. Wipe off my skewer again. I still paint as easily this way as any other way. Use my skewer to make marks. See if I can help my composition out a little bit. I made myself a list. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. We're zoomed in and hopefully you can see some of what's going on. I'm going to look at that for a second and see if there's anything else I should do to that. I'm kind of relieved to find out that we are getting some cells now. I think I just cooked that painting. <laughs> it's very small. Uh, what did I do with my skewer? I'm going to steal some more paint. I'm going to take it right out of the cooked batch, actually, it looks like. What else do I want in there? Anything? I have all kinds of cool colors. It's hard to tell with that piece of green tape around there. I want to tell you what. Okay, there's a cool color. Let's just do that. And I found my medical tubing, so I'm going to use it. That doesn't bother me a bit. It just makes me want to have a little tiny bit more right there. Yep, I'm happy with that. On to the next one. What's my next one? I was going to do escape, 
We'll stick this over on some freezer paper for right now. And I'll touch up my edges when I need to. We're good to go. So, let's do it again. Let's make sure my white paint is the correct white paint. And there it is. And I have a spatula. I actually have my Princeton Catalyst spatulas. Art tools, they call them. And for some reason I just want a little bit of white to move paint around in the background and I'm going to take the tiniest, and I do mean tiniest, come on, out you come. See, tiny. Yeah, that's okay. kind of want some more of that. That's supposed to be a sky, by the way. Not that you can tell. Let's try a different color. like the tur more turquoisey sky but that's that's kind of cool I can I can live with that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what I always do except for I hate this bottle it doesn't squeeze I used the wrong bottle and then I'm gonna just do what I've been doing what's on there nothing important yep perfect I'm just gonna make myself a little little batch of grass by sticking my skewer right in what I already had and probably using my skewer to add some more and just keep mixing it up and if I want some flowers in there I'm going to do something very similar I have a little bit of purple. It's very pale purple. I mixed this purple with the color colors that I got. Ooh, it's not as pale as I thought it was. Never mind. I like to use the purple for the for the shadows in the grass. And I haven't actually done grass and flowers yet. I'm not looking for cells. The only reason I might use a torch is pop bubbles but I kind of wonder how many bubbles you're actually going to worry about with this. So I'm going to take my, what am I going to take? I'm going to take the pink I made. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of that and a little tiny bit of something else that's a better color. Yes. And some of that red right in my butter dish and probably some of that yellow, yellow orange color too. I'm going to take my skewer my messy skewer and I'm just going to put a few flowers here and there I got way way more paint than I needed but oh well <laughs> I'm not really used to work working on uh, five by fives I kind of want some blue in there yeah I do I want some blue in there let's let's put some blue in there it won't take much. And I'm kind of wondering if I should bother with... Yeah, that's cute. Bother with putting my glasses on. Yeah, let's make, let's make a few flowers. Let's pull them up instead of everywhere. Kind of missing my pink. I'm a magenta girl. Matiza did not send me any magenta. But they do have it. I've seen it. It's just in a different set than the set I got. So, what that means is... <laughs> I have some. I'm using it. Well, it's not magenta. It's pink, but still. I just need a little something-something to zhuzh it up. That's awful big. Just makes me want purple too. But I don't want to take up too much more time. Make myself some pretend daffodil shapes in a very haphazard way. Yeah, I don't hate that. 
I could probably fix up my sides later. I think that's what's going to happen. I've got another canvas here. I said I would do some waves. I'm going to take my white paint. Oops. Still spread out a base. Hmm. That was convenient. Fell right over the side. Doesn't matter that there's some blue paint on my spatula. Doesn't matter if I take a second to coat my sides. I don't think it'll matter a bit. It might matter to me when I run out of time. So, swiping this stuff is kind of interesting. Not something I'm really super duper used to. So I'm just going to take a little here and a little there and use all of my ocean colors and see what happens. Because you never know unless you try. That's kind of dark. Did I use that green? I did not. I like that little tip. That's cool. I haven't been using a lot of my... Do I want some yellow in there? I wonder. Maybe just... Maybe... Come on! <laughs> I have to throw some purple in there. I just do. All right, can we do this? I don't know if we can do this. There. There's a wave. <laughs> and I even got a chance play with the edges a little bit. Yes, I did. I just used my finger. Kind of cute. Whoops. <laughs> kind of delicate. So, I did find my medical tubing and I said so, so I'm going to blow on this and see what happens. Mostly because I noticed there was some purple color coming through, and I have around here somewhere a bamboo skewer. Maybe not the one I thought I was going to find. I'm going to lead some paint around as best I can. It's a broken skewer, so it's not cooperating fully. But it's still pretty cute. I seldom do these. Everybody does these. So, I'm not trying. That's cute. Okay, I'll show it to you. We could do the sky. Or not. <laughs> Where's my... There it is. So, let's do the sky anyway. Even though I said I wouldn't. Yeah, it just looks a little more finished that way. So I got three of these. What else is on my list? I got flowers. I did that. I didn't do a dip, though. We got four minutes left. And I think a dip is in order. So, how do I want to do my dip? I kind of want to take all the colors that I didn't use so far. With some white. And some black. And I love that blue. Let's just put it everywhere. What else do I have that I love? That's some bright red orange. Here's that lighter color. I think I put a little bit of um, golden pearlescent, pearl iridescent medium in there. I know this is a weird color combination. It really, really is. 
Let's just go to town. Making weird. Oh, just lost the top. Strange colors. I've got gold. I like that blue. I don't think I... For some reason that tip wants to clog on me. This is probably not everybody way, everybody's way of making a dip. I'm going to clean that tip off a little bit. Somewhat. <laughs> Do I need any yellow in there? I don't. But I might want some more green. I think so. I thought I had some Yes, I do. I have some lighter orange color. It's just not in a very perfect squeeze bottle. Just makes me want more yellow. There's going to be far more colors in here, color here, than I can use. It's the circus colors. I like it. Okay, so now what I was thinking, other than the fact that I have some pink over here that obviously needs to go in there also. <laughs> because we can. I never did make my stripe. I wanted to do the, uh, the zigzag stripes that I sometimes do to make a to make a swipe and just keep them on the five inch canvas and see what happens. I'm just going to go all the way around the outside edge with this because I'm here. Anyway, so if you like my artwork or you like my videos and you want to contribute to keeping me working and helping me pay for art supplies, I don't have any other income. And you can do that by using Patreon or PayPal. There's icons on my YouTube header and there's links in the description. There's also a Facebook album mentioned at the bottom of the description under the video that will take you to all of the YouTube artworks, wet and dry, so you can see where I was and where I went. Yep, I like that. That's just way too much paint. I always use GAC 800 in my paints, all of them, even the uh, Arteza. Okay, am I going to do this? <laughs> I am. I'm going to do this. I'm going to dip that. Am I going to dip that? No, I'm not. I'm going to show you that these little canvases come on easels. And then I'm going to dip that <laughs> and do whatever I want with the last one. we got no minutes left. Let's just dip. Dip away. It's a twofer. Perfect. And I like both of them. It just always feels like cheating to me, but they're very, very cute. So we got a twofer in the end. Cool. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm going to be touching up those edges. And I uh, wish my hands weren't wet. Now I dried them on my pants. Come on. Let's torch. Torching will take the bubbles out of the paint and help create cells. And you can see there's lots of nice little cells popping there right now. My paint pouring recipe is under the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. That was fun, by the way. And I appreciate all the contributions. Thank you very much, and I love all your comments. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now. I love you guys. I tell you all the time. I know you do. All right. I'll see you soon. Whoops. Wow. I don't know what you saw. <laughs> Hopefully some of it. Before my camera melts, I'm going to say I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.